maybe someone has something that they can that they can say to you. There is something that you might want to address, but let's hear what it you just it the, the it's just this is something that needs to be voiced and needs to be heard. That word the word is an Armenian word. It's the worst thing you can remember that was given to my mother, and that's the issue. It's the word Kaklashlan. It's the worst thing, and my mom was called that repeatedly, bullied with that, because she was a girl. Not only was she a girl, this is my grandmother, the survivor of the genocide, her firstborn male, her son, was shot when she was holding him in his, her arm, the baby, by a Turkish bullet. And they say she has bullet inside her wrist, and there was one that was the mark on her breast, that first point. You understand that wound. I'm born out of a wound, and that's that wound. They wanted to replace that firstborn, so they had a baby. It was a girl. They were sadly disappointed. They had, it was, Arpenik, the first sister, Galup said the second one, Varsenik, the third one. Every time they got a girl, they were tremendously disappointed. In my culture, you've seen in the movie Borat, he does an emergency birth. He says, oh, it's a girl, where's the trash can? That's no joke. In my culture, especially, they wanted a boy. They, what they, got, they kept getting girls, and then after my mother was born. And they were so sorely disappointed. Do you understand? That's the wound out of which do you see what I do. I talk too much. I say dirty jokes. That's born out of that wound that was created when they shot my grandmother's firstborn male baby. And then so because of that word, that was, that's the word is when she said it needs to be replaced, I want that word I bought a new name by God that would fix my mom, you know, would correct what happened, to, what happened to her, why she's the way she is, and then that would correct why I'm the way because of the way I was treated because of the way she is. Well, you understand? That's what I tried to tell you. When you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, yes. all the generation cursing, yes. or whatever you inherit from your poor parents, and, it, and is, it is broken. Yes, that's what I want. I want to break it that. Is that broken. And, and Jesus, the, Jesus, yes. Said, Jesus Christ, having the same principalities and powers, you make an open show of them. Trials. Jesus, this, I want to make and, pray, and he, please. And Jesus name, Look. Listen, Jesus' name. Jesus. Cross over to the eighth day, right? The finish the seventh day, new eighth day, begin new. All of these generational, the ancestral traumas, slavery, Holocaust, genocide, all of them, the, all of these that affect us to, to this day, all of them break it. That's my wish. Well, yes, That's Jesus' my name is exalted. New name, heaven. yes. Jesus' name is exalted. Is the new name Jesus? Name is, is that what it is? At the name of Jesus, everything has to bow. So therefore, when Everything you accept, the yes. Yeah, so when you accept Jesus as your personal savior, all those baggages. I accept Jesus as my personal savior and break all of that, all, all of that trauma, all of that cut pain, away, cut away, away. create new away. name, new eight day for all of us, all of us, all of that, that, all of that pain, the sorrow, the trauma, all of that. Let go of it, drop it, cut it off. It cut away all those baggages, everything. And now you accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior and he, you give him a temple. He's living in you now. So yeah. you have the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit uh -huh. dwelling in you. Yeah. And that is that is the best. You're not in the world again. He said, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So now we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God well, made us in His image, and we're perfect in His image. None of that is true, all the crap that happened. Now and it's because of the curses that the parents put on them when they were children, and they didn't even know, some of the parents didn't know that was a curse they was putting on their own child. 
Sometimes, 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 sometimes parents will say for disobedience, you come out of Vagabond, a Vagabond. And the child comes out of Vagabond. Okay, when you're a real greed, when he puts the hands on, stop throwing punches. Yes. And if I remember correctly, with us you confess faith. Right? Yes. So you want Jesus Christ yes. To life. Yes. You want to walk to Correct. So, when we're talking about walking in the way God set, when we see how God encourages Joshua, a man, he lives with him, he resides with him, and confesses him. Now, walking alongside him becomes with having a desire to be with him. Yeah. That means from day to day, as David was referencing, a relationship. Yes. Right? Yes. So, that means that oh. the stuff that you had before, you could say the generational person. Yeah. Trauma. Uh-huh. Turn away from him. Yes. Yeah. Not just in terms of the things that, you know, this is the thing that afflicts me, but in terms of the sin that is present in my life. Yes, yes, and there are yes. things you know not to do. Yes. I, yes. And turning away, leaving those things behind, wanting to know what God's going yes. to do for your life, ultimately, it's going to, and this is coming from my personal perspective. Where did Tanya go? You're, you're going to have a hard time doing that. Wait, wait. Unless, On that, yeah. Uh, you're going to have a hard time walking after the Lord unless you want to know who He is. I want to know who He is. In a, in a regular I want to know way. what He is in a regular yeah. system, yeah. So, yeah. I'm, I, I praise God for that desire. Yeah. If you have that desire that's only pointing to the Holy Spirit. What Fred is mentioning then, and what Mike Gaudet was referring to, regarding the sowing, you know, casting your seed, uh, casting your bread upon the water. Yeah. Right? Sowing your seeds, right? You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know the state of the world and tomorrow, the next couple of minutes. You don't know if the sky is going to go, if the wind's going to blow one direction, if the tree's going to fall another direction. Correct. You don't know any of this. Thing. Yes. Uh huh. It's in the certainty of what God gives you, of that relationship you have with God. You can't work on something that you do not have. If that makes sense, uh, you can do like. You can't work on something you don't have. Yes. What do you mean? Okay. So two people have the mind to walk together. Yes. Man, this applies to me. Okay, it's so. If, if two people have the mind to walk together, mm -hmm. right, and the desire to walk together, and one person expresses that they want to walk with the other person. Yes. Right, the walking, the expression of wanting to walk with the other person is part of it, but the completion of it. Knowing how and when and why and where to walk with the person comes with actually going through and being with that person. Does that make sense? You hearing this, Tanya? So, listen. You can have a direction that's set, but walking in it is a decision that needs to be made. Needs to I be make the decision to walk it. Needs to be I, yeah, don't just 
talk the talk, walk the walk, right? Take all the steps. I'm making that commitment. Yes. Okay. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? To you, hey, yeah, all of us. Oh. No, 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 no. The reason we went, you didn't. We go through all this, so we get the answer. We know the preciousness of it. The reason. So let's say it. Look, you, you're my witness, okay? You hold me to it. I'm telling you everything, right? I don't hold anything back. You know it. I'll share everything it is here when it's appropriate. So, Let's hear, I want to hear what you got to say, Angel. I want him to finish. It's brought up, okay. Yep, Gabriel, before you forget, that one thing that you told me, that, that when you said, I need to work on that thing, that, remember that one thing you told me? That, that one, one verse, remember what he said? He said, you referring to yourself, you said, oh God, I need to work on this, right? Yeah, yeah so that, I need you to, when there's time, tell me what that thing is, that thing that, that I need to do, that you also need to work on, that one thing, because I... Cultivate myself to receive the seed. Yes. So you know what that is. You we all know what that is. Okay. So look, 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 I know what it is now. The issue is we're having discrepancy. Which ones are weeds? Which ones are God is. Sometimes you have a garden, this one, you have this one, well, that one, I don't think that, I want that there. You'd consider that a weed, I want, like, that's what it is. That's the very root of it. 
the things you consider weeds. I said, well, this one I wanted. You made you think it's a weed. That's my favorite flower. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I know. That's what the, that's what that picture I showed you today. Remember so the picture I showed you? That's that's what it is. Listen carefully. Yeah? Okay. What I bought said without faith, it is impossible to please God. And he that cometh to God must believe that he is a God, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek. So you, every person born with a measure of faith, every individual, but you have to activate that faith and you have to believe that God is God and he, what he said, his word is true. Yeah. He gave his son Jesus Christ and he said Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Okay. Jesus conquered hell, death, and the grave. Jesus conquered. Hey, if Jesus had, conquered it, I yeah, can. Right. Huh? Conquered hell, death, and the grave. That means to say, he conquered everything that the enemy will try to bring against the body of Christ. Jesus already Je conquered. Jesus it. already conquered it. Conquered everything. He, he, he took away all our sins, all our hurts, all our grief, all our pain, everything. And anything that enemy will try to bring against us, Jesus already comes. It's already taken he care of. He's sitting at the right hand side of God, making intercession on our behalf. Intercession. Remember, no, Anita, no, Tanya? You have to, when he said faith comes by hearing, just as what we read in the word, and hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and believing what the word of God says. Faith by hearing. So when, yeah. when in your faith in you, you activate that faith. Activate the faith. And you believe what the word of God is saying and the Holy Spirit touching your heart, uh -huh. door of door in you. The door in me. Yes, you have a door. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit is touching there. Yeah. And you open that door. And now you tell the you tell the Lord, you said, Lord, I cast in all my cares upon you, for you care it for me. So you cast everything that is, you know you're going Plus. through. You go before his feet and you tell him everything. And then he said, Lord, I have done this, I have done that, and all these things come short of your glory. I am sorry, please forgive me. Mm -hmm. And then God now, Jesus, will come and wash away all your hurts, okay, yeah. all your guilt, all your pain. And then you confess him you now as your redeemer and as a savior. And he said, Lord, I give you my heart, my temple. And if you come and dwell there you now, and you feel a peace because the righteousness of Jesus and his peace is coming to you. But you have to confess it openly, openly. Openly, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. And when you confess it openly, uh -huh. then you follow it to water baptism. Water baptism? Yes, you have to follow. And then yeah, you did that. Mm -hmm. and, and then follow the water, water baptism? Baptism, water baptism. Yes. That's yeah. I think you do, you know, look, yeah. that was washed up. I went to a new one. I want to have intercession. Remember what I we just said? Look, everything is like jigsaw puzzle fitting if together. I look, I only hear what David had to say. David had something to say. And then, go to Jerusalem and baptize the They take an ex, they dip in the Jordan. Hey, if it's worth saying, say it. Mm hmm. Yes. So, 
Mm -hmm. That's what that's Jesus healing. said, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. No, uh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Don't look back at you turn into a pillar. You don't want to turn into a pillar of salt. Don't look back at God, Sodom, right? Right? So, as you confess these things to God, yeah. as she was saying, to cast your cares upon God, okay, uh -huh. send your petitions, your prayers, and the peace of God will be reduced to you what He wants you to do in regard to your heart and mind. Uh huh. Sin goes deeper than what's in the mind and what's in the heart. It's so something you don't even know. Then the very core is the original sin. Huh? Machu. Machu is a leg. Not his, his mother had given him a name and his name was I don't know if I pronounced it right. What was this at? What is that? Machu is a leg of something. Who's that? Huh? Yes. What? Go ahead. What? Okay, I said, no. Not me, no, it's Machu is a leg. I can't remember. Machu is a leg. The man what what the the mother gave him a, a bad name. And then he believed God, and then his, his blessing came true. So we so gotta find that. Look, we gotta locate I that. I think that look, that's the key. Tanya, you right. listen to her. Tanya, listen. Tanya, can you write that down? Machu, some Machu's a K. What is that? I can't. I, 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 I don't. I don't know if I pronounce it right. That's what it is. That's that. That word I said. That's the thing. It's got to be replaced with new name. It'll figure, that's yeah, that's what. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, if, if the wind's blowing, it's better. <laughs> I've heard that story. I've heard that. I've heard that. Machu is here. He's finding it there. Look, that gesture right there. When someone goes like this, there's something. There's something. They're deep inside. This is the thinker that's looking up that thing. What is that? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I touched on what Mike was saying, and by the way, I haven't been able to find... There's an obscure verse, and then it's, it's in the same... Sh I, haven't, I haven't been able to find a reference to a curse name or a bad name. Uh, the only one I know is Jacob, because no, no, his, that, his that, name that, meant thief. That's the one? That's the one I just... No, no. See, I just say no. Things to grasp. 
This one, this one's coming. Look, this is it. Tanya, this was a guy this morning. Uh, What's your name? Mike. Mike. You should read this to everybody. This one that I sent you. Show everyone around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it, read it. Okay. Mike, this is. It's a microphone, it's recording what uh, that guy's saying. It's a Thank you. 
praise God. But in terms of for the body of Christ, what we share should be for the edification of every coming on. I don't I I don't I don't know if that is since I it's only slight. Touch them. But, but, it, but the, the understanding comes from the Holy Spirit. So knowledge for the sake of knowledge is dead. The small. knowledge and understanding given by the Holy Spirit is a yeah. is a Bible. Yeah. So it is, it is, it is the issue that all who discern the everything to be seen will come. And it is like very heavy. It is why you have to say how to do that. Small. Is that what you like to do? Scholar in the world, you could become the most uh, 
perfect man, you, you know, as close as you can get physically on the, in this in this mortal coil. You can do all of these things, but I will tell you that apart from the love and the relationship of God who loves you, they are rags. That's why my they are rags. That's why my encouragement to you is to seek God above all things, right? Wanting to know Him in all aspects. Because He, as David said aptly earlier, He is the one who truly loves. Everything else is going to fade away over time. Right? He, he's, he's, he's the one who persists forever and always. <laughs> Amen. You want to say something? Yes. Uh, 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 I, I've been telling people in the streets for years, homeless people um, um, and, and other people that are, they're just in stores and stuff if an armored car came and parked up front right now with 25 or 50 million dollars in it and said here you can have the truck and the money in it if you give up your Bibles and give up your faith I would tell them to keep their money this is, this is priceless this is a treasure this is God's love letter to each one of us. And it's filled with misfits and losers and idiots and prostitutes and murderers. Amen. And I'm, I'm, in that, I'm in that category. And you know why he, pick, he chooses people like that? Because he turns their lives around and everybody else goes, Huh? How'd they change? The power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. This is priceless. Hallelujah. When I hand these out to people, I tell them, look at... This is the greatest gift we've ever been given and you've ever been given right now. This is worth all the gold and silver in the world. Nothing compares to what we have. Oh, man. Power. Powerful. Tell the world. Hallelujah. You're recording. Live stream. I know you for years. We'll wrap up. But, uh, By the way, the thing you got to